Today, I'll be continuing on with a series of videos about pattern design for leather projects. If you have never tried designing a pattern on a computer before, then this video will make a great introduction for you and show you how easy it is to get started. I'm going to show you the most helpful commands for CAD software, while at the same time making this pattern for a simple folding card holder. I will be using NanoCAD as the software today, however, all the commands that I use here will also apply to AutoCAD, both of which are great software for doing any kind of design work. So let's get started. The first step of a design is to draw in the structure of the project. Then we're going to add in all the details and customization after. On the screen here, I already have an outline of a credit card, which I will use as a starting point to design the folding card holder. I will start by drawing the outline of a pocket that can hold onto this credit card using the line command. To get the size of the pocket, I will need 3mm of space for the stitching and 3mm of wiggle room spacing around the card to give a total of 6mm spacing on all sides of the card. Next, on the right side of this pocket, I'm going to draw in a 20mm strip, which will be in the centre section of the card holder between the two side pockets, where it's going to be able to fold in half. Now I'm going to copy the left card pocket to the right hand side using the copy function. Start by selecting all the objects you need to copy and using Ctrl C on the keyboard or right clicking and pressing copy. Then right click and select paste and the object is now fixed to the mouse cursor. And now I simply click where I wish to paste it. Now we have the structure of the folding card holder complete. With this we can begin to customize and shape the style of the border and the pockets. I want to make the card pockets open on the top and on the inner side, so I only need to stitch along the border, which will make the project look a lot better on the outside, as there only is one layer to this design. I will now draw the outline of the pocket edge with three separate lines. And then delete this inside line that we don't need anymore. Next, I will use the filler command to curve these corners of the pocket. Simply enter in a radius and click on the lines to create a curved corner between them. I will also use the filler command on the border edges using a radius of 10mm. Now I want to copy this pocket design to the other side. I cannot simply copy and paste it as it will be in the wrong direction. So I will use the mirror command instead. Select the lines that need to be mirrored. Then select mirror. And click on two points along the center line of the project. Then at the bottom, Click on the No option so we do not delete the first pocket. Next, I will add in a stitching line which I will set 3mm inside the border. I will do this using the offset command. First, key in the offset distance of 3mm, then press Enter. Then select the border line and click on the inside of it to create the offset line on the inside. Repeat this process for all of the border lines. Then select all of the stitching lines and change the color to be green. and line style to be dashed. 
and then adjust the line scale as required. I will repeat the same process for the trim line which I will set 3mm outside of the border and restyle and recolor to magenta. The design is now complete, but we have to separate the pattern into their component pieces. I will copy the design three times. Then select one design and use the trim command to remove excess lines and then delete the remaining unwanted lines. Repeat this process for the other two pattern pieces. The pocket outlines on the body piece can be changed to be detail lines by adjusting the style. And this completes all of the pattern pieces. Before we can print out this design, we need to make a layout. Right click at the bottom and select new layout. Give it a name. and then select Page Setup. And then Edit. Select A4 Page and Portrait Mode. And click OK. Then use the Insert Rectangular Viewport to draw a large rectangle on the page. And click Active, which will show the pattern we have been working on. Double click the inside of the viewport and center the pattern in model space. Then double click outside to exit the viewport. Select the viewport border and change the scale to be 1. We can now draw in a quick scale box at the top of the layout here, so we can verify the scale after printing. You can add in a title and a border to the page to dress it up a little bit. Then go to the plot command and the design is now ready to plot and save as a PDF. Open up your PDF file and in printing options, make sure the scale is set to actual size or 100%, then go ahead and print it out. This is how the design turned out when I printed it. Checking the scale box, it is indeed 20mm. I will cut out the three pattern pieces and then staple the pockets to the folding layer to test out the card holder design. Testing it out with a card and it is a perfect fit. This pattern is now tested and ready to make out of leather. I will leave a link to this CAD file I'm using in the video description so you can more easily pick up and work on a design rather than starting off on a blank sheet. I plan to do some more videos on pattern design 
So if you have any questions or areas you would like to see me cover, please leave it in a comment below. And if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.